So this time I said, yes, I will come to the graduation party, right? So it was a struggle. You know, I had to, of course, you have to fix your hair, fix yourself, make sure you know how to, you know, your directions to get there and all that good stuff. And it was getting later and later. So with a party, you know, of course, you can get there a little bit after the hour, okay? So I wound up and I put the directions in the GPS and guess what? I put it in the wrong directions. Oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tamla and Taylor Street Talk Tuesday podcast where we talk to you about treats, business, and life. I am Taylor, owner of Taylor's Kitchen located right here in Albion, Michigan, where we make custom sweet treats for your special occasions. I can be found on all social media platforms at Sweet Spirit Treats. Over to Tamla. Hi, everyone, and welcome to 5T Podcast. I am Tamala, owner of Torlitas for that sweet and crunchy taste. Torlitas is a dessert company located right here in the state of Ohio, where I specialize in salty, sweet treats. If you want to know more about me and my business, please go to at Torlitas, that's T as in Tuesday, O-R-L-I-T-A-S. Yes. So this week we are talking to you about a couple of things that have happened to us throughout the week. And um, I'm going to let Tamla go first. Oh, okay. Thank you, Taylor. So um, we've both been busy. It's the wedding season. It's graduation season. It is birthday season, holiday season. So we're both (laughs) just cranking out the treats. Wouldn't you agree, Taylor? just cranking it out so with cranking out and doing what we love right and trying to do life and business and all that good stuff life happens right so sometimes you get a little bit tired (laughs) extremely tired (laughs) yes you know we don't know what day it is you know (laughs) making sure orders are right and all that great stuff so I was invited to, I had, did a graduation, um, some Torlitas for graduation, some custom Torlitas, right? With the right colors and all that kind of stuff for a graduation party. And the person who ordered from me invited me to the actual party. Now, it's not like she hasn't done this before. I just, you know, hadn't had, just get yourself together to be able to go whether you had another order to get out or what have you. So this time I said, yes, I will come to the graduation party, right? So it was a struggle. You know, I had to, of course, you have to fix your hair, fix yourself, make sure you know how to, you know, your directions to get there and all that good stuff. And it was getting later and later. So with a party, you know, of course, you can get there a little bit after the hour, okay? So I wound up and I put the directions in the GPS and guess what? I put it in the wrong directions. Oh. <laughs> uh, luckily, I was only uh, five minutes away from the actual <laughs> space. I was there, it was back roads. It was like, it was a warehouse uh, where warehouse houses are and those big semi trucks go and park. There was not one soul, one bird, one stray dog. There was nothing <laughs> back there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I think I'm lost, you know. I think so I'm not in the right place at the right. I don't think it's the right place. I don't see not one balloon, no celebration, <laughs> nothing. Okay. So I had, you know, of course, I had looked at the invitation. Of course, I put in the wrong address. So, like I said, I got there within five minutes. And so when I got there, you know, I found people who I was. Who invited me? I sat at their table and I received something that I did not think or even expect. And so it was a God week. If you know anything about God week, it was a, it was something my spirit needed. The God said, "Keep going." Okay, I might get a little weepy. Um, so when I sat down, um, there was a few, quite a few people at the table. And uh, the lady, Andrea, introduced me. She's like, oh, that, 
this is the lady that makes the Torlitas. And when I tell you people went, oh, you're the one, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm feeding my face, you know, they had the bomb food, some chicken and waffles and some taco salad, you know, I was there having a good time. Right. And it was like, yeah, you know, and they were like, oh, we love your chips. We I always look forward to, and you know, just all the accolades were coming and it really touched me. And someone said they took, they had, was at another event and they took a handful to their corporate office, which is a huge insurance company. And they mm -hmm. all enjoyed and loved and wanted to find out more about me. So I became so filled, if you're Christian, you know what that means. So filled and so touched in the spirit, like, wow, you know, I'm doing something that people really enjoy and love. And had I not shown up, had I not, if I let, you know, the outside things, you know, deter me from actually showing up, I would have never heard what they had to say. I mean, it was so reassuring. And sometimes it gets, this gets really hard in business. You're like, <laughs> uh, <do> I, <laughs> am I still, <laughs> uh, <laughs> not today. you know, so I guess the moral of the story is to keep going and show up when you can. You just never know that you're going to bless someone or so, you're going to be blessed. How about that? By someone pouring into you that gives you the fuel to keep going. And I just want to say, if those people are out there watching, thank you, because you didn't have to say it. You didn't have to say anything. And it wasn't like, you know, they were like in line, you know, coming to see me or anything like that. You yeah. know, it was just, they would come to the taste. Oh, there's a lady, oh, you make those chips. And it was just reassuring, so. That is I appreciate awesome. that. And on my way home, I just looked up and this guy said, thank you, Lord. Just thank you for, for showing me that, you know, I, I still, after all these years, my product still touches the sweet taste buds in the hearts of many. So. That is a very good testimonial. I'm so happy that you stood up and you went and you took the time to be present uh, I do know the struggle of getting orders out and possibly attending events because um, I have done like, you know, you stay up late to try to get the things prepared uh, for night. the next day. And even sometimes, yeah, like you said, all night, um, I've learned to do a couple things, you know, a little bit further in advance. It's some freshness uh, preservation because like you can very well get like, drained super tired don't want to do anything this weekend actually it was kind of like the same thing for me I didn't do the farmer's market because I made a commitment to myself that one weekend out of the month I wasn't going to do like the markets and the different things like that I was just gonna have that weekend to excuse me, to be with my family and like hang out and just take a break, right? And so I do know that when you are trying to get things done, especially like in business, you spend a lot of time working in the business instead of on the business. And mm. I definitely learned this from a wonderful young lady named Rose. Um, she's been helping me to... Um, work in my business I mean work on my business instead of in my business so for instance I make cakes and I do farmers markets um and it's just simple things like using a system to collect phone numbers or um following up and sending that email to the person that you that bought something from you last year those are the things that get you repeat repeat clients get you good customer service get you those great testimonials because the product is just one part of your business from the first interaction that you have with people to the last and all the little steps in between shows who your company is and who you are 
um, as a person. So it's very good that you got to be able to see um, your good works and you glorified your father in heaven. So I think um, that was an awesome, awesome experience. I'm happy that you got to get your flowers as they say, give me my flowers while I can still receive them. Exactly. So congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on you taking the time for your family and for your rest, you know, instead of moving, you know, ahead and doing the, the, the job that, you know, requires a lot of time away from your family. Yeah. Even though they're probably there working, you know, alongside you and, you know, being a yeah. comfort, being a company to you. Right. <laughs> we definitely have um, a family business, but it's just some things um, because my children are homeschooled, we're always constantly around each other. It's no like they went away for eight hours for you know for the last seven days and it gives you time to like miss each other it's just those you got to do like intentional bonding things like last night we watched like three movies together on the couch and just like had some popcorn and it just felt good to not have to get up and rush and run around even though I know it's times certain times that I need to get things done just setting boundaries um, for myself and making time a priority is a really, really big thing. Say, for instance, like we record, you know, our podcast. I'm like, all right, we got a time to record. Then we got a time to be done. And then when you're in life and you just like, you schedule everything. Yes, it's a lot smoother, but like you can schedule spontaneous stuff. Like Wednesday, five to seven, I'm going to do absolutely whatever I want to do. Nothing. Even if it's nothing. Even if it's doing some like mindless activity. If you're always focused on business, 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 you don't really have time to be creative and have new ideas. Mm -hmm. So the scheduling and always being around each other, they definitely want time to just not have to work with mommy for mommy, school work, any work. They just like, well, let us be kids. Let us watch TV. But we want you to watch TV with us. So good, a good time. Very, very good time. The message of the day is take breaks when you need to take breaks. Yes, for sure. Yes. Uh, what one thing I do want to do because it's I had Barbie dolls when I was younger, you know, and there's a movie called Barbie coming out, and mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I think I'd like to make some Barbie inspired pink uh, Torlitas. So I'm gonna try my hand at that, and uh, that would be something that would be really cute for people that are going to. Um, have Barbie parties or watch parties or something like that. That would be something cute to add to the um, the treat box, I would think. That would be. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yep, some pink, um, different shades of pink, uh, maybe like a tan or brown in there for the brown Barbies. <laughs> And all that. Yeah. So that might be a really good um, um, item to add to the excitement of the movie. I think that will be a great addition. Yeah, that's so, what I was thinking. A great, a great addition to uh, to your collection of toiletas. Mm -hmm. That has been another episode of Tamala and Taylor Street Talk Tuesday podcast. We hope that you guys got something from our experience that we have shared on this week's episode. We hope that you have the most amazing week. Um, continue to smile and just know that it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to um, spend time with your family. Make sure that you are planning those things um, just so that you can just have some relaxing time 
everybody needs some time to relax. I totally agree with that. And I'll leave this with you all. This is something that I try to um, adhere my life to. And it's a, a, a phrase that I coined so many years ago when I started this <laughs> whole Torlita's empire, I will say, is the phrase of go when you go when you don't want to be present in the moment and do your very best. All right. Go be Tamela has spoken. All right, guys. Have a blessed week. Bye.